So let's talk now about battery storage, which is of particular interest in Hood River County. And we are talking here about solar plus storage. So batteries uh, make solar more effective. And what, what I mean by that is that uh, solar, there's a common misconception that solar allows you to use energy when the grid goes down and solar by itself does not. That's a misconception. You have to add a battery in order for it to do that. Um, batteries, however, do uh, do that. And the solar makes the battery more effective and the battery allows you to use the solar um, during an outage. So it makes the solar more effective. Energy resilience is a, an important topic in Hood River County. There are a number of things that can cause power outages. Uh, there, the most common causes of power outages are actually squirrels and things like squirrels that chew on wires, as well as storms that might knock down a tree onto a power line. Um, and those might be the, the shorter uh, outages that are, are more frequent. Uh, if you're someone who experiences a lot of outages, likely a lot of those outages have been caused by those things. In addition, there are some specific uh, energy resilience hazards uh, that are relevant to the gorge. One of them is public safety power shutoffs. That's PSPS for short. And uh, what that is, is uh, the electrical utilities in certain areas of their grid uh, are uh, sometimes in need to shut down their electrical infrastructure to a, a whole part of the grid, a whole community, so that their infrastructure uh, doesn't risk causing a wildfire during hot and windy conditions, for example. Hood River County has been identified as one of the places in Oregon where public safety power shutoffs are uh, more likely, uh, especially in the future as the incidence of wildfires is expected to increase. Uh, and so that is one consideration uh, in Hood River County. Another is general to uh, the Western half of Oregon in general, and that is the Cascadia seismic hazard. Uh, when the grid goes down, it's estimated that in uh, uh, certain parts of the grid, uh, folks could lose energy for, for several weeks. On the coast, it's worse, it's, it's potentially for months. But regardless, there is a risk to, uh, to energy resilience in the Columbia River Gorge. So solar plus storage, that's solar panels on the roof or on a ground mount and a battery uh, in the garage, say, or in a shed, uh, can be an excellent solution uh, to give you access to electricity during an outage. So uh, there are a couple of um, things to keep in mind here. Uh, the most important thing is that uh, folks sometimes have outsized expectations uh, of, of what a battery can do. It's important to set your expectations uh, so you know what a, what a battery can do for you. Um, a single battery will not likely be able to back up all the circuits in your home and allow you to use all of them, and especially the most energy intensive ones like a jacuzzi or uh, a ton of space heaters, things like that, um, that might use a, a lot of energy uh, for a long period of time during an outage. So what is most common is doing what's called a partial home backup with a single battery. And that's where you separate some of the circuits uh, in your circuit breaker uh, from the rest of the circuits, and you only tie those circuits to the battery. So that means you are planning what it is you're going to use during an outage when you install the battery. Uh, alternatively, some folks are able to and uh, interested in installing multiple batteries. And in that case, you can do a whole home backup in some cases, but it does increase the cost of installation. What uh, is the process, the conversation you'll have with your contractor when you're considering adding a battery to a solar installation? Uh, there are two basic questions and you'll need to balance between these two things. One is what needs power? So you're asking here, uh, what do I want to use during an outage? Uh, do I wanna use some lights? Do I wanna keep my refrigerator running so food doesn't spoil? Do I wanna have a couple of outlets to charge computers and cell phones, things like that. Um, what can I, uh, what what can I give? What can I not power so that I can use these appliances longer? 
Uh, so the, the, that balance then determines how long you can use uh, your appliances, whatever you're backing up. Uh, this in, is uh, a little bit more of an involved conversation. Uh, your contractor will ask you about, you know, what are the appliances you have? What are the circuits? What, what are your priorities? What kinds of outages do you want to be able to persist through? Um, and so know that that is a little bit like a consultation process with your contractor. When you actually install a partial home backup, this is what it looks like uh, when you uh, take some of the circuits, you put them in a separate circuit breaker panel, and that is called the essential loads panel, and that is what you connect to the battery, and those are the circuits that you power during an outage. Um, and like I said, the other ones remain uh, without power during an outage. So that is a primer on energy storage. 